Hi again. Sorry I uh, haven't uploaded for a while. To be honest, I haven't really had any interesting plans these days, so I decided to take you back to my room. Again, I don't really have anywhere else to be. <laughs> Uh, I never really know how to start these things. There's a little bunny cushion I bought in my last video, but we'll ignore it since it doesn't suit today's color scheme. On my desk is a haphazardly built set on my mother's bed sheets, which I impulsively threw together as an homage to Tommy February 6. If you're into the camp early 2000s J-pop aesthetic, I super recommend listening to Lonely and Gorgeous. I love, love, love the vibe in all of her music videos, so it's super sad how she doesn't make music anymore, especially with the February persona. I sort of just start little art projects Projects that don't go anywhere, so I also threw together this polka dot cork board as well, other than the striped one, which was inspired by some Oran High School Host Club manga box art. A PSA to you all though, cork and washi tape don't mix. But don't you think it matches so well this Simroll plushie I bought the other day? I've also been really into Nana lately, so I bought a few Vivian Westwood items too. Maybe I'll try a punk rock style soon. I went on a retired Gaudio's Mercari page again, and I picked up this super cool tea, but I didn't see how rude the text was. Um, it's a fun background item now though. Funny story, I actually wanted to film a video with the Kyoya style again. I actually tried to record a few days back with my hair done properly, but it sort of looked like I was wearing a cosplay wig, so I gave up and filmed across two days. The star of the show today is actually this. It's the Docomo F060 flip phone from 2012, and it even has a special theme in collaboration with the Nikola magazine. I love the little butler so much. I actually never really had a proper flip phone when I was younger, so this is actually helping me fulfill some really niche childhood dreams. Oh. Truth be told, I was actually going to buy the white version of the phone since I can't really use this one in public, but whenever you search the model number on Pinterest, it's always this one, so I felt like it would be more interesting for other people to watch. It's actually called the Docomo Style for Girls version, but I will headcanon that the name also includes plus grown men in parentheses as well. Even from the messaging app, you can already feel the Kyaru vibe, right? The colorful text is so fun and the home screens are super cute. Uh, what's really interesting is that this phone comes with a Purikura app. It's surprisingly full featured and has options for skin whitening, eye size, head shrinking, so it feels like a real Japanese photo proof. Not that any of you need it. It also comes with a ton of different frames as well to use. I'm trying to film and take a photo at the same time, so it was hard to find a dignified angle for myself here, so I just gave up. Afterwards, you can even add cute little stickers and icons too. It would have been easier if I had the stylus, but I bought this phone used, so it didn't come with it. My favorite thing about this phone is that it even has a front-facing flash that is very bright. My second favorite thing is how the pictures are so blurry, you can't even tell whether you look bad or not. When I start a new hobby, I tend to get sort of single-minded. Uh, last season, my previous obsession was making friendship bracelets because I saw a lot of them on Pinterest. Um, I only have three for myself and I, I think I did a pretty good job at them, but I actually bought like 20,000 beads on Amazon. So I had to make a pair for everyone I knew, which is not a lot of people. Uh, um, so this time, I decided to let my mind wander on Pinterest and find something that I can enjoy only by myself. And so I decided to get into Deco Den. Since I didn't want to ruin the phone I just bought, I drew out this little plan for my decorating. My vision is a frame of a little teardrop pieces and then some roses spread out in the middle. I actually also had a plan for a DS cover as well, but I'm super lazy and I got bored of drawing after I did the outline. Actually, I haven't frosted cupcakes or anything in probably 10 years. When I was younger during home at class, I forgot to turn my frosting plan, so I wasn't allowed to participate in cupcake making. I know a patissier in real life and she makes decorating look so easy on her Instagram stories, but I was wrong and I just sort of gave up halfway and started smushing it. Eventually, I just threw a bunch of the little included charms onto it, hoping that it would make it look presentable, but it didn't and the stickers didn't help either. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, I mean, it's it's pretty bad. It's just not that bad. The decorating process stressed me out so much, so I decided to take a tea break. Thankfully, I had good company, so all was well. 
Sadly, I am completely lacking in elegance, so I did not live up to my inspiration concept at all. Since I bought the flip phone used, I felt like I needed to show an unboxing with Japanese dumb phone, so I bought this little kid's Dokomo phone too. I couldn't figure out how to turn it on at first, so I kind of just kept pulling on different parts of the phone and accidentally triggered the emergency whistle. Moving on, the instruction booklets that came with it actually had really adorable artwork with super cute clip art that almost makes up the traumatic experience I just had. Almost. I have been really looking for an excuse to share my Fashion Dreamer game somewhere since no one I know in real life plays it. I'm really proud of my character since it gives me an outlet to live up my 90s boy band fantasies with the all white outfits. I wish I looked like this in real life, but wouldn't that be kind of scary? I like to dress my character in clothes that I can only describe as Disney Channel chic, but it also reminds me of Heisei Jump. I really want to get into the showroom decoration features, but the furniture selection is just so limited at my level, so I'm stuck with all the default clothes and decorations. As much as I like Fashion Dreamer, I really needed a change of pace, so I got the original style savvy. I've never worked retail before, so I can romanticize this. You know, I've actually played all of the other style savvy games for the 3DS besides the original, and I'm already impressed by how charismatic this is. Even from the tutorial, you can immediately feel that 2000s teen magazine inspiration. Ugh, it's so great. Once you go a bit deeper, there was even a little fake magazine cover selection with different styles as well. Uh, and while even though the me of five years ago would think that these outfits are kind of ugly, now I feel like they're kind of giving Y2K twice divorced art teacher. I like it. Also, some bonus footage, I actually had a second Deku Den kit that I used to make a 3DS Sinroll cover, but it was so ugly that I didn't even want to bore you with the footage in case you clicked off earlier. Well, that's it for today, and I'll see you within 9 to 21 business days. Bye.